What's good, YouTube? Nick, hey, man. Uh huh? You know who it is. Chris Jones. Representing Pump Chasers. Right now, we're over here at IHOP. Just left the gym. Killed the back. But anyway, I wanted to go ahead and give y'all this video. I'm about to start editing it once I get home. But anyway, me and Jerron, my boy Jerron, we just killed chest and delts. Kill you. I want to give you the video now. However, I got like four videos that I already have done that has to come before this one. So be patient, guys. I be grinding my ass off. I'm like recording damn near every day and still running my business. I just love what I do. But anyway, at the end of the workout, we did an intense burnout and I want to share that with y'all and if your gym allows it why don't you give it a try only if your gym allows it okay now keep in mind guys on this particular day we did delts first high volume delts first then we trained chest with moderate volume and we did this at the end keep that in mind we did not do this first when we were fresh we did not do this first when we were fresh this was the very very end of our long workout okay keep that in mind okay so obviously if we would have did this first it would have been a lot easier we did it at the very end like i said full video will be up very soon stay tuned okay well anyway here's the burnout comment below let me know what you think. And I almost forgot about that life shirt. Back in stock at BeachMoJonesCoaching.com. Performance style, so it's hugging the sleeves. Be sure to get you about 30 of them bitches. Minimum. All right, homies and home mets, as you see, I'm putting on the pump chasers wrist wraps to protect my wrist. And I'm rocking the Pump Chaser sleeveless hoodie, both available at pumpchasers.com if you happen to give a fuck. Now, like I told you at the beginning of the video, this was done at the very end of our delts and chest workout. Be looking out for that video at the end of the week, okay? So keep in mind, we are already very exhausted, okay? So, what we did was three sets. We did three sets of bench press. We start with the incline, go directly to the flat, and we go directly to the decline. We start off with one plate, and we do 10 reps each. 10 reps of incline, 10 reps of flat, and 10 reps of decline. And let me tell you, that was intense as fuck. You wanna give this a try at your gym? Maybe try it with dumbbells. Try it on a Smith machine, or try hammer strength. You can do it any way you want. Give it a try. Then after we did one plate, we took it to one plate in a 25. That's 185 pounds, and we did the same exact thing. 10 reps of incline, 10 reps of flat, and 10 reps of decline with a plate and a quarter. And let me tell you, that was even harder than the first time. Like I told you at the beginning, guys, we were already exhausted when we started this shit. Tight on you, man. Oh, 
what he owes. He owes two more, man. Okay, so as you see, Jerron got the two reps that he owed. And then it's my turn to go ahead and get my 10 reps. Now check this out. I'm going to go ahead and let the raw footage play for you guys. I know a lot of y'all like to see raw footage, so I'm going to stop talking. After we did the plate in a 25, we finished the workout with two plates. And we went six to eight reps. We were too exhausted to go ahead to go for the 10. So we finished off the workout with two plates and six to eight reps for the incline, flat, and decline. So I'm going to go ahead and stop talking here, let the raw footage play. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below.
She said, you too heavy. Give me all that ass. <laughs> all that ass. Bring that ass over here, baby. <laughs> Shit. Give me that. Bring it over here, Jerron. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. And at the end of our workout, we decided to do a little posing practice. For those of you that may not know, posing practice is very good for the mind-muscle connection. It really helps condition the body. It helps get that mind-muscle connection. And it really helps with your training, guys. So if you're able to do a lat spread, you know, really flex your hamstrings while standing, shit like that, it will transition into better connection with the weights. Anyway, full workout coming at the end of the week. Comment below. Thanks for the support. Fuck with your boy.